Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to look very briefly at the start screen in the new Photoshop. There are a few things that I want to go over with you. One of them is how to turn this off. The other one is how to get the start screen but without these recent files. If you're a teacher, for example, you probably don't want to have everybody's work in front of you. Some of this isn't my own work and I don't want it to be seen, for example, when I come to make my Photoshop videos. So let's see how we could get rid of this entirely. We'll choose Edit and then Preferences and then we'll go to General. Here is the option to show the Start Workspace. So you could disable that and then you can go ahead and select Use Legacy New Document Interface and then it will be back to how it was in earlier versions of Photoshop. But if, for example, that's not what you want, if you just want this dialog here but without all the files, then you can get rid of them by choosing File and then Open Recent. At the very bottom of the Open Recent list is an option for Clear Recent File List. If you click that, then all of those files are going to be removed from that menu option. And so you're not going to have them showing. But that's only going to work until you start opening more files or creating more files. And then this is going to get populated all over again. If you don't want anything here, but you do want this interface, let's go again to Edit and Preferences. And this time, let's choose File Handling. Because this option down here is what controls the recent file list contains files. There were 20 there. Well, if we set this to zero and then click OK, then there's never going to be anything in this dialog because you can't have anything in the recent files list. So you sort of get the best of both worlds. If you like this interface, you get the interface, but you don't get it showing all the files that you've opened recently. If you enjoyed this video tutorial and learned something from it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so that we can alert you when new videos are released. And until next time, my name's Helen Bradley and thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel.